The story unfolds in a secluded place where a silhouette, unidentified person approaches the glass house. Suddenly, a gunshot rings out, and he drops to his death. The family uses the stranger's body parts to support themselves. The three sisters place the body on a stretcher in front of them and cut it open to collect any organs they can for composting in their kitchen gardens. They eventually wrap the body in a jute cloth and bury it in a garden area. Gabe, their brother, attempting to recall the game they play every evening. After they bury the body, the three sisters enter the house. B. The eldest sister, Evie, the protector of the family, and Daisy, the youngest and most mischievous sister. B's conversation with Evie also reveals that B hesitates to take shots at strangers who wander into their domain before getting a good look at their faces. She seems to be keeping an eye out for Luca, the sibling who left the house years ago. That night, we observe the family talking about their day. After that, Daisy and Gabe play their evening game while the mother, the matriarchal ruler of the home, happily watches them. The next morning, the family undertakes an unusual ceremony in which the remains of the deceased are placed on a table between them. It is a rite designed to help them recall their stories and combat the shred. Everyone moves in a set rhythm, executing their chores, and, most importantly, remembering. Each family member has a specific line to say, which they must not forget. While tending to their plants inside the house, they sing gentle music to them as part of their ritual. When Evie is alone, she takes out her memory box, where she keeps items taken from strangers as souvenirs. One fateful day, B goes on watch duty in the wilderness, repeating Luca's name while continuously flashing her signal. After this, she notices an injured stranger who suddenly collapses. She brings the injured stranger into their house, which displeases Evie, as she insists it is against their rules. However, B stands her ground. Although the mother is upset with her, she reminds them of their first rule, never let a stranger enter the sanctuary. Daisy points out that according to their second rule, the sanctuary and all it holds are sacred, and since he is inside now, that means he is sacred. The mother accepts this. They treat his wounds and wait for him to regain consciousness. The next morning, Gabe wakes up with wet pants, and Evie takes care of changing his clothes and cleaning him up. Meanwhile, the stranger awakens and notices that B slept at the foot of his bed. While cleaning his wound and changing his clothes, B mentions that they have seen a man's body before, including the fresh one under the pumpkin seedlings, which puzzles the stranger. The mother inquires about his origin and how he remembers everything despite being exposed to the shred. He mentions that he was attacked on his way but was spared by B's kindness, because Gabe is uncomfortable. B blindfolds the stranger and as Gabe hold him, insisting that the stranger is just like them. While tied up, the stranger observes the siblings' activities outside the house, where he sees one of the newly captured forgetters. Forgetters are what they call individuals who have lost their memory due to exposure to the shred. Meanwhile, B is gradually falling for him, assuming he is Luca, their long-lost brother. However, Evie is skeptical and on guard. She implores B to reconsider her trust in the stranger, but B feels she already does. While the two are chatting, Evie can't help but feel anxious. The stranger impresses Daisy by talking about animals and the siblings' favorites. He encourages Daisy to carve a small horse out of wood and asks her to bring him a knife, which she does. They eventually play the evening game she used to play with Gabe. While making the horse for Daisy, the stranger noticed Gabe watching. He asked Gabe to assemble it, but Gabe couldn't do it, which caused the hot-tempered Gabe to lose control and become violent. The stranger pleaded to be let go and Daisy complied. He managed to stop the enraged Gabe. While tending to her bruises, the stranger tried to seduce B, and she gave in. The stranger also asked questions about Luca and Evie's secret memory box, which they used to play with before Luca left. He feels useless and wants to help the family, but Evie reminds him that if she had been on duty the night he was saved, she would have shot him. The stranger insists that he understands because he would do the same if he had a family. After their conversation, the mother reminds him that everything in the house has a purpose and that his interaction with Evie is not part of it. That night, Daisy asks the stranger for a story. He tells a fairy tale about the one-eyed king who searches the land for the one-eyed queen, while Evie listens intently. The next day, the stranger gives Bea a strawberry, something Luca used to do. Evie reminds her that he is not Luca and that she should not trust her memories, but Bea insists that you can trust your heart. One day, while on sentry duty with B, who shoots the approaching forgetters, the stranger begins touching her, and they become physically intimate. 
Later, Evie witnesses the stranger and Bee having a steamy encounter, which reminds her of years ago when she saw Bee and Luca doing the same thing, while Gabe was still small and wanted to play with a boat outside the sanctuary. The stranger notices Evie watching them and later approaches her, asking if she enjoys observing them. Enraged, Evie reiterates that his tricks work on Bee but not on her. A while later, the stranger finds Evie's memory box buried and sees inside it a name tag with Luca on it, an old battery wrapped up, and Luca's pendant. He inquires about the pendant, discovering that all of them wear it at all times. This discovery makes the stranger suspicious. During the family ceremony, an enraged Evie lashes out at him because he does not belong. Later, he displays Luca's belongings, which he had previously stolen from Evie's box. Daisy and B are convinced that he is Luca, but Evie believes that the stranger is exploiting her mind. The stranger accuses Evie of betraying her own brother, which she denies. B sides with the stranger, believing him to be Luca. However, the mother intervenes, insisting that Evie is trying to protect the family. He reminds everyone that Gabe became this way because of Evie's neglect, as she has been preoccupied with spying on Luca and B. As time goes on, Gabe's anger towards the stranger intensifies. The mother eventually discloses that everyone in the sanctuary serves a purpose and that she is using the stranger and B's intimacy to bring new life into their midst. As soon as the child arrives, the stranger will be removed. Luca always leaves. That night, in Gabe's upper bed, B and the stranger are having a bedtime session. While B is working, the stranger is languorous. Their noise is heard by everyone. While doing the laundry, B removes her underwear to wash it, and Evie realizes that B has missed her period. In a conversation with B, the mother reminds her that toxins could have harmful effects on the baby, which makes B excited. The mother discloses that she will soon remove the stranger from the sanctuary because he has fulfilled his role. When the baby arrives, the sanctuary will have a new pair of lungs, as the plants can't produce enough oxygen. Since B can't bear to give him up, the mother gives her a choice of whom she will get rid of, but B can't make that decision. B experiences an emotional breakdown, prompting Gabe to go outside the sanctuary. Because of this, memories of the past are refreshed in Evie's mind. In a flashback, while she was spying the steamy encounter between B and Luca, Gabe stepped out into the open without his mask and was exposed to the shred as a toddler due to Evie's carelessness. Because of that incident, Evie blames herself for what happened to Gabe. The stranger insists that it wasn't her fault and encourages her to move on, but she remains guilt-ridden for failing to protect her brother from the shred. While on duty as sentries, B discloses to the stranger that the mother plans to get rid of him and tells him she will accompany him wherever he goes. The stranger, however, insists that the one-eyed king has found his queen and refuses to leave her. Later, while Evie is sleeping, Gabe attempts to force himself on her, but she pulls away and instead pleasures him with her hands. This is the extent to which she is willing to surrender to her guilt. The next day, while repairing the sanctuary, the stranger and Gabe discuss Evie. Gabe insists that Evie loves him, but the stranger disagrees, which insults Gabe. Gabe also acts violently in the stranger's presence, causing damage to one of the glass walls, which concerns the family. The mother blames the stranger for Gabe losing control because this only happens when the stranger is nearby. As a result, the mother decides that it is time for him to go. That night, while the three sisters are bathing, he invites the stranger to join them, but he insists that it is time for sentry duty and leaves immediately. He confronts the mother, who informs him that she does not believe he is Luca. In response, he strangles her, promises to take care of the family, and then kills her. Later, he places her body near Gabe's bed and throws the weapon near him, causing Gabe to wake up and see the lifeless body of his mother. In a fit of rage, Gabe strikes the stranger, drawing the attention of the sisters, who later discover that their mother is dead. While B and Evie debate about who killed the mother, we see the stranger tying Gabe to his bed. The stranger opens a glass pane in the room to allow the shred to enter and affect Gabe while he sits at a distance, revealing that he is resistant to the effects of the shred. Daisy has an emotional breakdown as the sisters prepare the mother for her burial. When Evie leaves to put Daisy to bed, B discovers her secret memory box. While searching through it, she finds Luca's belongings, which trigger her recollections. She accidentally killed Luca. To confirm her memory, she digs into one of the vegetable patches and discovers Luca's torch buried underneath. However, the memory is a bitter truth that B would rather forget, so she intentionally breathes in the shred to help erase the memory. 
He confronts Evie about her tendency to overprotect and remember everything. She explains that as long as they remember the occurrence, it will always be real to them, and they should expose themselves to the shred. Evie claims to love B, but is not ready to forsake herself or her memories for her sister. The stranger appears, expresses concern for Evie, and B departs to face the shred. While Evie is unhappy with B's decision, the stranger persuades her to let B live the life she desires. They quickly locate Gabe who is suffering from the effects of the shred to varying degrees. Gabe is fully lost in a zombie-like stupor, while B appears to partially regain her senses and calls out to Daisy as her child. However, she does not seem to remember the stranger. Evie is now burdened with the task of remembering everyone's truths on her own but the stranger offers to be her companion in remembering. They then begin their first steamy encounter. The family performs a rite for their late mother, with Evie taking the mother's place at the table. They have also changed their identities to fit the new narrative they wish to inhabit. Evie is the one-eyed queen. The stranger names himself Luca and claims the title of the one-eyed king. B is now Evie's sister. Daisy is the daughter of B, and Gabe is the brother of everyone. Each of them has chosen their own path in life, repainted the glasshouse walls to alter their history, and scraped away the past. In the final scene, while on guard duty, a clue hints that another change is imminent when a newcomer arrives in their region. The stranger chooses to kill Gabe over the newcomer. For more videos similar to this, don't forget to subscribe and enable notifications. Thank you for watching.